Good morning, December 23rd, 2017. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice in the Lord always and be glad in it. And so can you. I'm really trying to just get my energy up by being energetic intentionally, even though I don't necessarily feel like it right now. Because when we said our Christmas shopping was finished, I was not quite correct. My uh, my nanny, my grandmother, um, there's something that we wanted to get her, a little something. And, um, well, I I'm listening to my Jane Eyre audiobook right now. And it is raining here today, all day. Um, and my joint pain is just way high. And my headache and head pressure... Of, of course is off the charts and just in general my fatigue and everything I do not feel well however I'm still joyful and I'm gonna do everything that I can possibly do and use everything that I have at my disposal to try to give me an hour or two of energy and a little, you know, I can push through the pain relief to an extent with adrenaline. So just adrenaline to be able to go to the bookstore and pick up my nanny's Christmas gift. Now, if you could catch the clue from what I said earlier in this, in this video, then you might put together what it is. There's no way she's going to see this video before Christmas because things are so busy. So I'm not worried about it being a spoiler, but I'm excited. It's uh, one of my favorite books of all time. And the thing is, it's like, oh, i got to hold my arm up. <laughs> See? Yep. I was just working on getting my Tubi pad uh, changed out uh, and then cleaning around my Mickey button and putting the new pad on. But uh, that's what all of the, that's what the bag was and stuff there. It's, you know, a 40-minute drive there. Of course, the other day there was road work. So it took Roger longer, much longer, being stuck in that. But hopefully today on December 23rd in the rain, there won't be yard work. Now, is it smart for me to try to push myself to do this? Not in any daggum sense of the word. No, it's not. This is probably one of the most ill-advised things that I've done. But... I want to go Christmas shopping with my husband, even if it is in a store in the mall where it has an outside entrance so we can just go into Books a Million and right back out without having to deal with the mall, which, I mean, Books a Million is still going to be super crowded because it's December 23rd, but it's not going to be like we have to wade through the entire crowd of mall people. And of course, I'm going to take my precautions. I'll have my fidget cube. I'll have my headphones if I need them. I'll have my sunglasses, etc., etc. But I haven't been able to physically go out Christmas shopping with him in years. And before I start treatments, whenever I get the green light to start that, hopefully we'll get a lot closer to it when we go up to D.C. in January. Um, I have an appointment on January 10th, and I'm really hoping we can get the green light to go ahead and start taking steps to set up getting my port and getting the IVs started. In any case, before I do start treatment, I really want to push myself, even if it's ill-advised and even if my body is screaming, No, don't do this to me! I really want to push myself as much as I can to spend time with Roger and to do as much of the, you know, things that we would do if I weren't sick as I'm able. Obviously, it still is different because I've still got a cold pack on my head out in public. I'm still suited up with my Vogue mask and my glasses and everything. But it, I hate the word normal, so I'm not going to say that, but it gives us a sense of not sickness, even if we just have one little aspect where we're able to do something together. And it's not that we resent the, the illness because we know that it is preparing us for something far greater than we can ever imagine. But a lot of times it's easy to get wrapped up in thinking, well, why are things not better yet? And this isn't what life's supposed to be like. And 
we've both recently been talking a lot about God's will and we've become much more at peace with God's will and much more filled with joy as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog but it's still you know the human side kicks in sometimes and you're just like why why are things still like they are and we um, are choosing to view everything through the lens of joy. You know, it's not perfect, but I'm going to push my body even though it's past its limits. I'm, my pump just started beeping. I need to hook up. I'm going to push myself as much as I daggone can, even if I pay for it tonight, because I want to spend some time going Christmas shopping with my husband because it's important to me and I just love spending time with my best friend. All right, guys, sorry for the little bit of noise in the background. We have the heat cranked up because it is cold. We are on our way to the mall and I'm only gonna talk for just a second here because then we were trying Christmas music and just enjoy being able to be out and spending time with each other. Army's bowl game is today, so as you can see, got my Army West Point jersey on. There you go, you see the sides and everything. And the sleeves on there. Go Army, beat San Diego State today. Doesn't really quite have the ring to it, does it? Not really, but as always, the motto is Go Army, beat Navy, which guess what we did? Two years strong. Anyway, um, UK also plays today. We play UCLA today in basketball. So I've got my UK jacket on and I've also got, let me flip the camera around and show ya. My UK socks and rain boots, which have little decals on the side, a blue one there, and a, yeah, wait, blue one background there. Oh, they're the same. I thought they were opposites. Oh, well, my bad. We'll be lucky if they're both on there by the time we get home. They tend to come off when I'm getting in and out of the car or whatever. How apropos, guys. Joy to the world, unspeakable joy. Sorry for our way dusty thing. I just realized how horrible that looks like camera. Whoa. Hey guys, the road is pretty back on slippery. So we are having to go 55 miles per hour on the interstate. And have a feeling we're gonna have to go a little slower than that probably because the rain's not letting up but thankfully we have an umbrella and we have my disabled parking placard so we'll drive around till whenever we find a spot that is close to get in to the mall or to the store here we go what are we even thinking what are we thinking whose idea was this Mine, but he agrees that he could drive in the rain if I could push myself. I'm a chronic enabler. I'm doing the pushing. I'm doing the enabling. We're, we're helping my Korean mother. Oh. Help, helping. <laughs> we're helping me feel like not a crap granddaughter because I hadn't gotten her gift yet. But I'm excited to give her what, what it is that we're getting. So we gotta get to the store now. After we find a close parking spot, no matter how much we have to drive before we actually find it. Here we go. Do you wanna wait for a minute or? It's not super bad. I'm scared it's gonna get worse. worse. It could get better. I, th I would rather not risk getting worse. What do you think? We're this close. Let's do it. Okay. Get the umbrella first. That way you can have it. I mean, I guess I, I guess it. I could have gotten you out in front of the door. That's okay. Um, then, then the spot could have been gone. So. Right. No, you need to get the um, get the umbrella out and while you're doing all that, and then I'll hold it while you're pushing me. For um, I'll, I'll hold it up high for both of us because I'm not gonna have the camera out in the rain. All right, guys. See you later. Okay guys, something unexpectedly, awesomely, wonderful. 
just happened inside Books A Million and that was, I had, I had ordered Roger one thing for Christmas and it was delayed for two months shipping. So I'm like, okay, crap, that's like two weeks before Christmas. I got to think of something else. So I thought of something else, ordered it. The company said, oh, we were going to send you the last one of those that we had in stock, but the box was damaged. So we looked at it and the product was damaged. So sorry, we can't send it to you. Here's your refund. So I'm like, oh gosh, now I have to think of a third choice. So I thought of a third choice and ordered it and, and actually wrapped it. However, we came up here to the bookstore to get the books for my nanny and they had what I was looking for. So I'm gonna return the other thing I got because this one I wanted to give him more and... Uh, and I get a better present out of it. Yes, that's always good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to get this too. I can't wait. All right. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. We had to um, like finagle it out of the store. He had to hide and give me his debit card and whatnot. But I got it. I forgot we didn't have you all inside. Of course, we also got my nanny's Christmas present. I think I said that at the beginning of all this. You did. Okay. Anyway, we got nannies too. So yay! And I got a couple things for his stocking that I had been wanting to get. That were cheap, cheap. Actually, it was just one thing. One thing. Okay. One thing for your stocking. Alright, see y'all later. We are in the first quarter of ARMY's bowl game. So San Diego State's up right now 7-0. They had a pretty impressive kickoff return touchdown, 81 yard run. But um it, well, I don't think it was a return. Was not off I said it was. No. Well, in any case, their return must have been I because they got an eighty one yard touchdown run. And uh let's see. Army's just got the possession of the ball again though, so I have a feeling we're gonna win this one at least you know that's what i'm gonna say i hope we win go army beat team army and san diego state are all tied up at 14. uk is leading ucla by 20 not by 27 good night mm -hmm. by one the score is 27 to 26 and we've got a nice little setup here which i'll show you in just a second because the commercial just came on and i want you to be able to see both of them on at the same time the animals, uh, the female animals also have a nice setup on top of Roger. He thought to say that. I can't take credit for it. Lucy and June both. Okay, so here's our setup. We have the UK game here. And we have the Army game here. And we just realized the Ravens are playing as well. So, maybe we'll put the first down army, I do believe. And did you guys score? I missed it. We'll have to see. I don't remember what the score was before, but good setup. So, it's halftime of the army game and the UK game. I set a timer for halftime, and I'm going to puzzle some. There's my Christmas walker. Nice and packaged up, all pretty with a bow and everything. Time to work on the puzzle. How about you stop, Luce? Lucy, baby? Yeah. He's already gone. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah, that's it. He is. He's already gone. <laughs> it's been a day. We haven't really filmed that much today. Actually, that's not true. We filmed we filmed it a, a decent amount. I don't know if I'm going to be including it all in, in this vlog, though. So, um, we Let's see. What do we, what do we watch tonight? Our choice. We watched the festivist episode festivist. of Seinfeld, but what did we watch before that? I feel like we watched something before that. Before that, oh, we watched the, big the games. Uh, and the games. So, mm -hmm. UK did not win, and I don't even want to talk about it. Let's not go there. Army won their bowl game the second time in school history that the school has had a 10 wins each, and the record was 10 and 2. That, that was a great bowl game. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Really good. It was it was way fun. The, and Army won it at the very end with 18 seconds left. It was yeah. amazing. And then we watched some of the um, Great British Baking Championship or Great... Something or other. I forget the exact name of the words, but I love the show. And then we watched the Seinfeld Festivus episode because of him. And, and because, because it's, it's awesome. Good. Yeah, and because it's awesome. And then we watched a couple episodes of The Office. They're Christmas episodes. Which are always a good time. And then we watched Peter and Mary Fry from the Fry Life. We watched their vlog that they uploaded today. Mm -hmm. So, naturally, before we sign off for the night, it is time to do 
Advent calendar. You can't win. Um, go in. You can't I'm win. Go in. Okay. You win. Okay. okay, let's open our Advent crown. Okay. All right, today, guys, it's December 23rd. I can't believe that it's December 23rd. That sounds so just, mm. like, weird. So we've got two days left of these. Holy crap, it's a Festivus pole. I'm kidding. It's, not, it's, not. No, it's, it's a drum. It's clearly a snare drum. Come, they told me to rum bum bum bum. Yep, snare drum. Yuppers, a newborn came to see. And I got a star this time. I got a star at Bethlehem. Yay, star. That's a six point star. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to bed, and I have exciting news. Roger is going to sleep in the actual bedroom tonight. Hello. We... No back pain. <laughs> I, I haven't, I mean, I mentioned it, I've mentioned it a few times on here, you know, just in passing in vlogs, but um, a lot, most nights, actually, for the past two years, he has slept in our spare room on a futon, which he, we got, like, a new mattress for it, but it's still a futon mattress, and... Yeah. There have just been various reasons, like, you know, because I have such a hard time sleeping in general. We, and keep, then... we keep each other up because I snore and she sometimes wakes up with pain. So I'll yeah. keep her up and she'll keep me up. Neither one of us get good night's sleep. So, yeah. you know, we just figure it's better for both of us to, uh, you know, until things are a little bit more in control, just to sleep in separate rooms just so we can both sleep. Because right. you can't heal unless you sleep. Exactly. And... Since it's Christmas time, and since my sleep has gotten a little bit better right now, I at least want to uh, sleep in the same bedroom with my husband over Christmas break. And maybe my snoring will be better because I don't sleep on my stomach anymore. That could very well be a great thing. I guess those aren't the right words that I'm going to say. <laughs> those are weird, but mm. that, very well, that may very well happen. Yep. Anyway, so yeah, I'm excited about that tonight. I don't have to sleep alone. All right, we are going to go to bed. Happy December 23rd. We will see you guys tomorrow on Christmas Eve. That's when they'll be watching this. This is ridiculous. That is when you'll be watching this. But when we're making this, it's tomorrow. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>